are the two of us going to do alone in the car for hours? Huh? Why don't we start by getting a little more comfortable? Hmm? What do you say, Tiger? Really? Huh? What? David, come on! D David, yes. we are a married couple with three children. We cannot squander okay. opportunities like okay, this. I'm fine, I'm fine, seriously. Okay? Fine. Yeah, yeah, just... You just, awake? Yep, yeah, look, if I pass out during it, just don't be insulted, honey. Just keep going, I'll catch up, okay? Well, it's basically about a guy who's been a television star for a very long time, and he's been coddled, um, and he's a little bit selfish, um, as TV stars tend to be. And his show ends, and he comes home, and his wife, who was a soap opera actress many years ago, and the last 10 years she's been raising the kids, and he's been gone. So when he comes home, she decides she wants to go back to work, and she leaves him with the kids. And she just, and he just doesn't know what to do. He doesn't, he's not a, he's not a dumb guy. He's just a guy who has been treated a certain way most of his life. And now he's in a game that he doesn't recognize. He doesn't, he knows his kids, but he doesn't know what makes them tick. He doesn't know what their foibles are. He doesn't know how to talk to them. Um, and that's so. It's him getting to know his family again, and, and it's uh, and, and it's um, and, and it's just a, it's a fun, it's a very good family show. Tiffany, run! Oh, so is your hair fake also? That was real and probably the scariest part of the movie. Hey, come on, mullets were very popular in the eighties, man. Business in the front. Party in the back, dude! <laughs> yeah, I mean, I get the guy. I mean, I understand. Uh, there, there's so much, there's so much, um, and I get so much unaware selfishness being an actor. And, and it's, it, the only thing I can sort of relate it to, it, it's the most childlike existence of any job on the planet, I think. You're told what to wear, what to say, what time to be there, where to go where to stand, you throw a tantrum once in a while and people f try to make you happy and then it's over and you move on. And that's what you do. You bring People bring you food and it, it's a very, and, and it's not like, it, for me, it's not an ego thing, it's just what it is. So I go home a lot and my wife gets mad at me because I tend to get selfish about things because during the day, it's about me, uh, and which I, which I don't like, because, but I'm uncomfortable, and I'm uncomfortable with it. But it's hard not to fall into it.